Hey YouTube, how's it going? I bet you can guess what I'm doing today. That's right. Today I'm going to be working on painting my excavator. Uh, this is kind of like a going to be a series of videos or maybe just one big video um, on painting this excavator, doing some repairs to the shroud that goes over the top, some fiberglass repairs. Um, pretty much I'm going to make a video from, uh, you know, pretty much what this machine looked like when I bought it, uh, to where, where it's at now. Um, I like somebody's here. But anyway, um, I got a video on putting the new tracks on. Uh, I guess that's the only video I got. I got a video of me and my dad fiberglassing that shroud some. Still have some more work to do on that before I can paint it. Um, I didn't videotape me, you know, taping this up. I didn't think that'd be that entertaining, really. Uh, but, so all I did really was you know, put the normal, like, brown paper on it with tape. Um, and also, I scratched it up with just 150 grit um, sandpaper, just to kind of help the paint have something to grab onto. Um, so, my plan is, uh, all of the trim, the cab, that's all going to be black. Along with the cylinders, the blade, the bucket, the undercarriage, it's all going to be black. Um, those cylinders there, black. The arm's going to be yellow, and the shroud's going to be yellow. I'm um, going to try to just make it look like a newer Yanmar. Uh, it's going to have that paint scheme, and I think it'll look pretty slick. Um, and I think that'll help kind of increase the value of this machine a little more. Uh, and also just, mm, I don't know, look a little more professional. So when I show up on a job, it doesn't look like it's all beat up and not that nice. So we'll see how this goes. This is my first ever real, like, paint job, I guess. Uh, gonna be spraying, spraying the paint. I just mixed it up. I've got, um, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different, uh, ratios, I guess. I don't know. I just did like two parts paint and one part paint thinner. Um, and then I found this Dougie had. It's called Smoothie. It improves the flow and increases the gloss. So mix that all up. That's ready to spray. Um, I just cranked up the heat in this place. Got it up to like 65 degrees. It's, it's about 25 outside. Um, so that should help the paint dry and also check this thing out. I just bought this thing at Tractor Supply, uh, 80 gallon, two stage air compressor. Pretty psyched about that. Um, never had an air compressor like this, but I figured the work I'm doing, uh, this is going to be a big, big help and a very useful tool in years to come. Uh, whether it's painting, running air tools, all sorts of stuff. That thing is going to come in handy. Uh, so I'm going to get to it. You guys stay tuned um, and enjoy. We'll see how this goes.
YouTube. What's happening? I'll take this off a little bit so you can see me. Firstly, shaving. <laughs> um, how's it going, guys? Um, working on my excavator again. Thought I would show you guys. I didn't film it the other day, um, but I kind of I had I guess I messed up a little bit when I had painted this thing. Um, take this right off. I uh, so. I painted this with some uh, oil-based paint from Tractor Supply, um, <clears throat> but I never, I didn't put any hardener in it for the first two coats. Um, then you guys saw I said I had put some hardener in it and painted it again. Well, the hardener that I used, I guess, I think it was for a lacquer paint. Um, it just said a single stage hardener, and I used, I put it in the oil based paint and um, it took forever to dry um, like two days so I was a little skeptical of it it didn't look all that great I'm not gonna lie so I was um, I decided to look it up online that paint that I have um, and you're supposed to use this spe like a uh, hardener same brand uh, as that for oil paint so what I did, I went back to Tractor Supply. I got two half, like well, a whole pint, um, two containers of that hardener, and came back, mixed that paint up, and sprayed it again with that. And I, I really am happy with the results. Um, it's, it's really nice and shiny. I think it looks nice, and the paint is really hard. Um, I mean. It's, it's nice. So, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, go ahead. Um, what I'm working on now is I want to finish up these patches. Um, so, I'm going to, I just sanded them down some. I'm going to clean them off. And then I've got some body filler over here that I'm mixing up. I don't think that it's been used in quite some time. Uh, but... Uh, that's what it's looking like, and I'm going to mix that. We will, excuse me, uh, get that onto here, put a nice skim coat of that down, and then we can let that dry and we can, uh, get busy with sanding. Once that's done and sanded, uh, all I got left to do for that is paint it. So that'll be cool once that's done. I'm going to paint the arm. I might do that today. I'm not sure. We'll see how far I get. Um, yeah, this project is getting pretty close to wrapped up. Check it out. I got all of the decals in the other day in the mail. Yanmar. And then got the sticker for the back. I don't know if that's the same sticker or not, but I think we can make it work. Um, so yeah guys, this is uh, starting to come together real nice. I'm happy with this, real happy. So stay tuned, gonna get to work. How's it going? Still pecking away at this excavator here. Um, 
Got that pretty much done, filled with Bondo. Um, and then I realized I had a crack right here in the front. So the other night I did some fiberglass work on the house, small patch. So that's all set, ready to go. And then the other thing I noticed was this wasn't real solid here. So I fiberglassed the inside of that. Um, so should be ready to go on that stuff. I just got to, um, I gotta put some Bondo on that, but my plan right now is just to paint the boom. Get the fresh paint of yellow on the boom, and then, um, then I'll, I'll paint this second. I don't think we're gonna need too many coats on this, because it's already yellow, but that boom's gonna definitely need a couple of coats. Um, so, gonna go ahead and paint that up, and see how it comes out. I'm excited to see it. Um, all painted. So... Stay tuned guys, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the paint and the hardener and uh, we'll get started on this. Hey there guys, what's going on? <clears throat> so, a little update on the excavator. Um, got some paint on the doors or the latches, whatever. I don't know, just the, um, the engine compartment and the fuel hood and everything. Finished up painting the arm the other day. Um, I think it came out pretty nice. Um, everything's looking pretty good. I'm gonna shoot another Cody Black on that because a little bit of overspray there, some overspray there. Um, right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint this hood. I'm gonna throw another coat of paint on that and that. And we will be in business. Um, probably gonna have to paint this twice. I kind of messed up here, guys. I don't know if I put too much primer down or if I didn't let the primer um, dry enough before I put the second coat on, but that primer is kind of squishy. Um, I don't know what I might have done, but I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna paint over it. I got some hardener mixed in with the paint. So I'm guessing that it'll, it'll solid up here once I do that. So stay tuned guys. I look probably pretty silly with this thing on like this, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get painting. So here we go. All right, well, that's that, guys. Um, everything's looking pretty nice, I think. You know, I noticed on uh, the boom over here, when I sprayed it again uh, with a second coat, I don't know if my gun was just a little dirty, but, you know, it, it, the finish on it just wasn't as say clean as it was on the first coat the first coat was nice and smooth and I don't think you guys can really see with the camera but it's got kind of like some specks in it now it's like almost like a textured look uh, I mean, it's not bad I'm just being picky I guess I want it to look nice but it does look a lot better so oh well you know, I'm just being nitpicky. Um, I think it came out pretty nice. I'm gonna go back here uh, the next few days, probably, and I'm gonna do some touch-up paint just with a little brush. Um, I got a paint down there you can see. I couldn't really get at with the gun. So, got a little bit of, um, just a little bit of touch-up. I'm gonna paint some black maybe later on tonight on that and you know I think I'm just going to leave this right here I'm just gonna paint this with one coat I think it looks pretty nice I got real good coverage on it um, I want to see how this dries up if this
hardens up real nice um, over that primer that was squishy or not. Uh, I got some hardener in the paint, so I think it should should harden up for me. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna paint some black, and I want to do a few things to this thing before uh, I get it out of here. I'm gonna change the final drive oils, flush the coolant, and just a few other small things I want to do to it before I take it out of here. Maybe I should have done it before I painted, but um, I don't know. I don't think it's going to matter too much. I'm going to be doing that again while it's painted. So uh, I'm really happy with this way this project came out. Um, I'm going to be putting decals on it maybe tonight. Uh, at least some of them. We'll see. But uh, this paint job looks a lot better than it used to. Um, I'll post some before pictures of when I just bought or when I first bought this thing the day of. Um, that way you guys can kind of see how far it's come. It looks a lot better than it did. Uh, so yeah, guys. Getting close to wrapping this project up. And then I'll be moving back to my truck. Trying to get that running so I can get it in here and work on it some more. Uh, got some painting doing that. Some Bondo work and whatnot. So yeah, guys. I'm really getting close here. Uh, and I'm excited to get this stuff uh, rolling because spring's coming and we're going to be working so stay tuned Things look pretty nice. Cool. Now we know what it is. Again, more. EIO 70. Again, more. Cool. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Got some help here today. I'm going to be putting on my shroud. And that's pretty much the final step for this project. Yeah, let's do this thing. Come on. Mm -hmm. It weighs 1,700 pounds. You ready? <laughs> ah! It's not a game. It's a red thing. Hey there YouTube, how's it going? Uh, just want to make a short clip today. It's been a couple weeks since I finished up uh, this little project on my excavator. Painting it and such and uh, just want to make a short clip kind of wrapping it up. So here it is. Um, got some snow here the other day. Um, but Got everything put back together on it. Um, and got the shroud on. Everything's painted, clear coated. And I'm real happy with the way it came out. I uh, brought it over here. 
I had a big pile of brush over there I burned. There's still some brush, but it's a lot of mixed stuff. It's brush and dirt and stuff, so I'm gonna have to pick through that and burn some more of it off. But it's a lot smaller than it was, and that's what my goal was. So, um, yeah, so this thing's pretty much wrapped up. A couple things I want to do to it. Um, I'm gonna make some sort of door here. There was a door, but when I bought it, didn't have one. So that'll be a small project. Uh, we can work on put a little door in there and then another thing just gotta get some new plexiglass put some plexiglass on here i might even replace a couple of these because this guy kind of did a hack job on here so we'll see but that's in the future uh, i did the i mean the biggest part of it i wanted to get done i got done so um i'm real happy with the way this came out i think it looks a lot better than it did and uh, I'm excited to get it. Uh, I'm excited to put it to work this year. Uh, hopefully I can score some jobs with it. And uh, we can go out and make some money. So that wraps up this project, guys. I got another project I'm working on. Uh, getting my big truck running so I can pull this thing around. Uh, so there'll be some footage on that coming soon. Also got another clip or uh, video coming up on a uh, job I just completed, small wall, and uh, but that's about it. And um, so I guess that's it for this project, guys, uh, and we'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.